Glenn Assoon, who was wrongfully convicted of murdering a Dartmouth woman in 1995 and spent 17 years in prison before his release, has died. CTV late anchor Stephanie Sikos joins us with what we know about his death. Stephanie? Todd, his lawyer confirmed to CTV News he died last night at a restaurant in Dartmouth. No other details about his death have been released at this time. Now, Asun was originally arrested in 1998 for the killing of his former girlfriend, Brenda Way, in 1995. He was found guilty in 1999 and sentenced to life in prison without eligibility for parole for 18 and a half years. Asun always maintained his innocence, and in 2019, he was exonerated after years of legal battles to clear his name. The conviction was overturned when it was revealed a joint RCMP Halifax Regional Police Unit had destroyed evidence regarding other suspects. You would hope that Glenn's legacy will live on. He was an inspiration uh, to our organization and to other wrongly convicted people, including myself. Uh, he persevered for years and years, being the only one fighting for his innocence until we came along and, and did what we could to, uh, to eventually prove it. In a statement to CTV News, Assume's lawyer Sean McDonald said, Our hearts are collectively broken. Our prayers are with Glenn's family right now. He was an inspiration and beacon of strength and determination for all of us associated with the innocence movement. Now, both McDonald and Dalton are hopeful for the creation of an independent innocence commission to review any potential miscarriages of justice in Canada. They also hope an independent criminal investigation into the conduct of the investigation that wrongly convicted Asun is carried out. Now, Todd, Brenda Way's killing has never been solved. Todd. All right, thank you for that update. Stephanie Sikos in the newsroom. Of course, Stephanie has your late news here at 1130.